Hi right, guys, back again for another video. This one's going to be proper rough and ready, this one. I'm using my phone to record this, so big apologies for the shaky camera. Uh, I just wanted to sort of show what's going on on the screen and in my rig at the same time. Um, so I just wanted to show what was going on with the eight LEDs there. Uh, obviously there's only one lit at the minute because I've got nothing running. Um, so what we've done is we've done a clean uninstall of the driver, the 19.2.3 driver since yesterday. Uh, I've uninstalled Revertuner Service Statistics because somebody on a forum said that might cause an issue. Not, don't think that will, but I've done it anyway. It's just another thing to try. Um, so I haven't got that running at the minute. Um, there's no afterburner on the system. I don't use afterburner at all. So that's not getting in the way of the clocks. I only use Wattman to do my clock re frequencies. Um, so yeah, like I say, that's uninstalled. No overlays on the system now. Um, this is the 19.2.3 driver uh, reinstalled after the DDU. So it's completely clean. Um, out of the box, standard settings. Uh, this is what man just just set up a custom profile what I've done is I've just clocked it at 1700 and 1100 on the HBM on the memory um, those are not aggressive settings I, I normally run well not normally I can run 1180 on the memory and 1780 on the core frequencies when I'm benching so I know that the Vega 64 you know is well under its maximum threshold um, but anyway, let me get into it. So let's just test this. What I'll do is I'll leave this on the screen. I will attempt again it all into the shot just so you can see uh, the frequency down there, the graph of the, you know what the core and the memory are doing, and obviously the eight LEDs on there. So let me run the custom test on this one. Apologies straight away for the shaky hands. Um, I know this isn't great, but at least we can see what's going on here with the system. And the only thing left to do now, like LT Matt on the forum says, on the Overclockers forum, is probably a Windows reinstall. Don't really want to do that. Not many people enjoy doing that. I'm going to lose a lot of stuff. Um, I know I can back load up, but it's still the hassle of reinstalling the operating system, isn't it? And, you know, I don't think that's going to solve it. I can't see that being the issue um, surely if it was going to cause this bug it would be across every single driver version you know if there was something on the OS or something like that that was causing the issue but um yeah I might hang on to this one for a week see what see what happens and then worst case scenario we'll do the Windows 10 reinstall but here we go So you can see the, the lights drop in there. They normally drop all the way down to sort of one or two, but um, yeah, here we go. So yeah, you get the idea. So as you can see, the graph up there, the uh, the orange and the purple line. That's the uh, the purple. I think the purple line is the memory. The orange line is the core. Um, normally, they both drop at exactly the same time. So you'll get those uh, those negative graph spikes. Um, that will be on the orange and the purple. But it, for the start of the test, there, the memory was. Uh, pretty much at a constant sort of 1100 there but it's just started now to drop both together so you can see the orange and the purple dropping at the same time there my camera's having a little bit of difficulty trying to focus on this let me pull back a little bit but yeah look at the state of that like I said every driver since I bought this card on launch date has been fine up to 19.2 drivers this never happened before. This card has been blinding. It, it just, it, yeah, it's been solid as a rock until the 19.2.1, 19.2.2, 19.2.3, .2 and uh, this is happening. I've got no idea what's causing this at all. So, 
that's enough for me. That's five minutes. I've rabbited on with a shaky camera. Um, I just wanted to get a shot of what's happening here without any recording software or overlays on the system at all. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully somebody sees this and says, oh, I've got a similar issue and we can get a couple tickets out to AMD uh, and it can be fixed. Um, so yeah, watch your space, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, hope you haven't got a headache from the screen shaking and I'll catch you around. Cheers, guys.